This is a Highland trailer that we use a safety demo. With this trailer, we show what we deal with every day, electricity. The live line demos are very beneficial to the members of the community because it helps them educate them on how our lines work. Um, to know that potential is there to hurt someone or hurt themselves. We take it to different schools and community organizations. And we just want to show people about electricity. The different scenarios that we come across during the day. The things we have to wear and protect ourselves from the power lines. We show a squirrel on a power line tripping the fuse on the transformer. Uh, a lot of people that have to happen in their houses. They don't understand why the power has gone off. And we just want to show them that a squirrel can climb on that power line and knock it off and cause an outage that's at their house. We also show a um, stick sitting on the power line is burning. A lot of times during storms, whether it be a snowstorm, a, a windstorm, a rainstorm, a, a tree will fall on a power line, an arc, and burn on that power line. So we want people to realize there's a lot of current going through that and stay away from it. Let us know when it goes off. A lot of times the members will hear a loud popping noise. They think the transformer's gone bad. A lot of times it's the flipper fuse, which is a single fuse on that transformer. Or it can be a line fuse, which is a single fuse on the whole line that blows. It sounds like a gunshot going off. A lot of people say, that's the you know, transformer blew up. Well, hopefully that fuse blew and we protected the transformer. That's what it's supposed to do, protect the transformer. It blows, so we don't have to replace the whole transformer. We show a, a lot, power line fall on a vehicle. If a line falls on a vehicle, we want people to realize you're safer in that vehicle because that vehicle's energized, it's got rubber tires, it's not getting to the ground. But if you get into that vehicle, you touch the ground in the vehicle, you are part of that path for electricity to get to ground. It's, it's very reassuring to educate the people, let them know what's going on. The big thing at all is respect, respect the electricity. We lose respect and we can get hurt. Same as the members, they need to respect the electricity and see what it does, what it can do.